Every time we come here, we talk about the goaltender, and usually it's Stuart Skinner, but tonight Calvin Pickard goes out there and gets a shout-out. Just some thoughts on his play tonight. We're very happy with Pix. He's been a great teammate. Um, his attitude, his work ethic on practice. Um, you know, there's guys that you cheer for and you're happy when they have success. He's absolutely one of them. And, you know, since I'm, I've been here, I've noticed he's played really well, like very solid. And, you know, he's had some tough games where we haven't defended very well in front of him. But overall, his, I think every single game he's been really solid for. And tonight he was out, <coughs> outstanding. Yeah, and usually when you talk about Oilers hockey, you talk about high octane, high scoring games. It hasn't been like that recently. You guys are pulling out some pretty close wins. So what's going into preparing for winning games like this? We guys are sticking with it, and we're getting better as the game goes on. And we'd like our starts to be a little bit stronger. We'd like to get the first goal and not look back. Unfortunately, it hasn't been like that. We're just, um, we're just playing good enough to win right now. I think we got a lot more on our group. But um, as a coach, we're just, as a coaching staff, we're always pushing our guys, trying to get better at something each day. And um, right now, I think we've been good enough each night to win games, and that's, that's about it. Chris, this is another game where you've allowed two or fewer goals, getting the shout out, obviously, tonight. What did you like defensively tonight? You know, I thought we did a good job of getting back into position, and usually breakdowns happen on the entries into the defensive zone. Guy, winger swings away, the defenseman doesn't play the body in the corner. There's some kind of breakdown, but I like our details coming back into our defensive zone and we are sorting things out. You know, there's a lot of other things that could have been better on the our play with the puck. Um, I think we defended more than we needed to tonight, but I like that our guys, every single group has been doing those fine little details. and. Doesn't take any skill to come in into the defensive zone and stop and just takes a little bit of concentration and guys have been doing that and we've been able to defend pretty well. Uh, this morning, Sam Gagne said when he was with the Blue Jackets in 2016-17 and when they won uh, 16 in a row, the win streak was kind of a big focus for that team. He said with this group, it hasn't been as big of a focus. They've been kind of focusing on playing well. Can you just kind of speak to that, the team's ability to not let this win streak, I guess, be a distraction, if you will? I think there's just so much more at stake. Um, playoffs, um, getting into the playoffs, um, where we are putting ourselves in position, possibly home ice advantage or all those things. And right now, the way the team started, chasing teams, I think everyone's just really excited to be moving up in the standings and giving ourselves a little bit of breathing room. I don't think we talk about it very much. I certainly don't talk about it ever. Um, and when I leave the room and the guys are talking, I don't think they're talking about it. Maybe they are, but I think we're just trying to take uh, one game at a time. Chris, you mentioned that you're playing well enough to win. You, you liked how you defended. So if you look at it, is, what, is there anything specific that you'd like to see better offensively from your team? Better puck management. I think we give away the puck too often, um, whether we're in the offensive zone, thrown into the blind slot, hoping somebody's there. You know, I think we're good at possession the puck. We're good at uh, creating plays and forcing the opposition to um, break down so we have our chances. In the offensive zone, if teams, they're taking away our rush. We know we're dangerous and they're always getting above us. So often it's, it's really tough to create any offense when it's a three on three or a four on four, when, unless it's an odd man rush. And then if we're trying to make plays, we're just probably giving away the puck and then we have to go back and defend. So I think as a, as a team, that's one area that we, sh we need to get better at. And I, don't know, I know you only saw like seven minutes of him before he got injured and then now he's been back for three games. What, what, what have you seen from Holloway that you like? There's lots I like. He's finishing his checks. He's been good defensively. Plays with a lot of speed. He's in on the four check. Um, he's creating scoring chances, whether he's getting the shots off or he's setting guys up. And he's also been pretty safe. And I talk about not giving away the pucks. He hasn't given away pucks to create offense. So, you know, I think we can always get faster, getting a little more assertive. He has been, um, he has been. So he's helped our team. Chris, just over here. Um, did you see many or any similarities to the Columbus game tonight? And the way your team played. 
you know, I think the Columbus game was a low for what I've seen about the puck management, the amount of giveaways that we had. I thought we were a lot better tonight, but we still have room to um, improve there. You mentioned this morning about how you felt like the lines were stale in that game. You've obviously made a lot of changes, some changes obviously in that game and carried them over to tonight. What did you think of the way the forward lines kind of adjusted in, in their first full game together? I, I, I liked them. You know, they, um, I, I think about, you know, obviously the um, McDavid line got three, three goals tonight. I think for the most part of the game, certainly in the first half of the game, uh, Nugent Hopkins' line was probably the best. And, um, yeah, so now we've got some decisions on what's going to happen next. We've got, uh, you know, we've talked about the addition of um, Corey possibly Saturday, and we'll decide what we're going to do there, whether he plays on Saturday or if we feel he's ready or, I don't know, we, we'll decide that tomorrow after practice. But, um, you know, overall, I thought the lines were, were good, so no need to change things up uh, dramatically.